everybody, Little Simmer here, and welcome back to the final part of the Sims 3 Build With Me series. And in the last part, we we did up the downstairs. It's looking really pretty. It's a really awkward layout, but I think it works. Um, so I think today, or in this part, it's still the same day that I recorded the last part. Um, but I think um, then this part we're gonna do up the we're gonna finish it up by doing the upstairs so the upstairs has it looks like three bedrooms and one bath and it's not gonna be nothing too crazy so I think I want to start off with the master bedroom and I think I want to make this the master so I think I want to put a bed right here so I'll go to bedrooms beds and let's see what we got here I got some custom content things but I don't think I'm not gonna use those that's a little fancy for us oh that's custom content I just said I wasn't gonna use custom content There's one bed that I used to use a lot. It was kind of modern looking. Where is that one at? It's a double bed. This one. I usually I use this one a lot. So actually let's see if there's different presets. Let's get rid of that. There's different presets to it. Ooh, that's nice. I like that wood. And that came with ambitions, it looks like. So let's recolor this here. So I think I want to make this like white pillows. And then this. My dog is going crazy. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Let's go into abstract. Nothing in there that I like. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just burped in y'all's ear. I did not mean to do that. Um, what do you guys think? You guys like that? I want to recolor it a little bit. That's pretty. That's the hex code for that. And then for the... For that... I think I like the wood the way it is. And then... We need a... Oh, actually, we need nightstands here. And I always tend to use... These, but they don't fit. So we need something... A little bit smaller. Or we could do this. This room is kind of small. So for a night for a nightstand, we might have to do something basic that'll fit. If I even have anything that'll fit. Hmm. This is uh, concerning a little bit. That's too small to be a master. Hmm. We might need to change the layout here because I didn't realize how I didn't realize how small this was going to be. I suppose we don't need to put nightstands beside the bed. We can just put some plants. I've been using... 
Where is it? I've been using these a lot. That's still kind of small, ain't it? Maybe we put that door right there. That's still kind of small. I gotta say this upstairs is not the best. Hmm. This upstairs. I didn't realize it was gonna give me so many problems. Something like that. And then put maybe we can put a plant on this side and an end table on the other side. I know it's not very symmetrical, but I gotta do what you gotta do, okay? <laughs> Alright, and so I wanna put a lamp here, but I don't want it to be too bright because then it'll overpower everything. What about that? That looks good. And then we need a dresser. And then we can put it right here. There's a certain wardrobe that I really like and it came with Supernatural. And that is a very tight squeeze. Would it fit better over here? It won't even fit over there. This is a little... uh. This is a small master bedroom. Um, I wonder if we can... Let's do a little renovation here. Let's go to build mode. Let's get rid of this. And what if we do one of these? So you have to kind of... There's like a little turn. But it makes the room bigger, you know what I mean? Like, it makes it to where we can do stuff a little differently. I know it's not the layout that we put, but maybe maybe we can do one of those. That way it's not too... That's... You know what? I like that a lot better. Um, so it's not, it's not that big of a change. We just changed... We just changed a little bit. And so... Where's that door at? I guess we can just copy one of these. And put put it like that. And then we can put... Oh, we can, we can just... Hmm. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> I, put the, I put that down with move objects on, so that's why it's doing that. Yeah. Okay. So. Alright. So that looks a little better. I wonder if we can fit a wardrobe there yet. Nope. That's still kind of a tight squeeze. I really wish we could... You know what? Let's... Go back to that. <laughs> All right, so we can put a door right there. So you still have to kind of go around this. Um, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I really wish there was a way. Sorry guys, I know we already did the floor, like the layout and everything, but I just want to make sure that looks a lot better. Okay. That looks better. Okay. So the fact that you can put a, a door right here says to me that I'll be able to 
that the sims will that that your sim will be able to get into it Alrighty, there we go that looks that's so much better Alrighty, sorry about that everybody um you didn't have to do all that if you don't if you didn't you know want to i guess wanted to make the rooms look a little better there we go hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me for changing it at the last minute <laughs> okay so let's go back to this master bedroom now that that is out of now that that's taken care of we can make this floor plan a little better and actually i think i want to put this door back there maybe no i'll, I'll keep it there <laughs> i've changed i've changed enough during this video Alrighty, so let's move this let's move this over put that up there Press letter E on your keyboard, copy it, press letter E, and copy it. Or, if you want to be fancy, if you want to be really fancy, we can put, get rid of those. You can put some flowers up here instead. If I can find any, that'll go on this table. I like to put these but they're not very I think what we I think I'm going to stick with the lay with the lamps. Alrighty. <laughs> so, press letter R on your keyboard and we're going to copy the wood color and we're going to drag it. Yeah, if you drag the color over, it will um change the color of it. And then, there we go. And now we can touch this up. But for that, I want it to be a little lighter. Let's make those a little darker. There we go. And there's the hex code to that. B bead. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I have been burping a buttload today. Alrighty. So we got that taken care of. Now, there's not much room to fit things in here. I wonder if we can put a mirror. Like a stand-up mirror. You know what I mean? Will that fit here? That's one of my favorite things to do. Just put a random mirror there. And then we can... So I guess I can show you guys how I'm doing that. So if you right click on a thing that you like the color of, and if you don't want to copy the entire color palette that you, that you made, you can just click on one and drag it over and it'll ask you which one you want to color or what part you want to color. And voila. So that's pretty neat. So we got a little theme going here. Now, I want to put a mirror on this wall as well. And I think I want to use the same mirror that we used downstairs. It's the one from Late Night. It's the mirror of a thousand faces. I think that's really pretty. And then we can put we can put a pretty picture above the bed. I hope I'm not going too fast. I just want to get this video done. So I want to pick a nice big picture. And something that fits well. Okay. 
Okay, sorry I'm not saying much, I'm just concentrating. I'm just a concentrating girl, that's all I am. Oh, there's my dog. Hi. Okay. I seen one a little bit ago that I really liked. Where'd it go? I think I can find it. I was gone for a couple hours earlier, so she's freaking out because I'm home. Um, I really like this. But I think I'm going to put that over on this wall. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to put that anywhere. <laughs> okay. So... There's a lot of really pretty ones that came with Supernatural. And then there was one of a barn somewhere. Somewhere is here. Maybe we could go to the living room and go to wall decorations. Do, do, do. I know that looks like sort of like a barn, but that's not the one that I want. That's not the one that I was looking at. Picture of a car. Hmm. Well, I need to hurry up and pick something so this video is not a million years long. Oh, that's, that's cute. Maybe we'll put that over here. Maybe. We'll put that right there. We'll find a couple of more pictures to put up here. Okay, I know we used this picture downstairs. Let's see what that looks like. No. I know we used this picture downstairs, but it's one of my favorites. Like, it's really pretty. So you can just do that. And then over on this wall... Maybe we can keep the theme going of pets, if we can find another picture of an animal. <laughs> okay, let me see what we got here. Look for the pets logo here. That's cute. It's sort of not the style we're going for. Put that down. Like that. I'm gonna call it a day. That's that's good for me. Um, another thing I like to do in the bedroom, I like to put alarm clocks. At least one alarm clock in one of these. Of course it's gonna... Of course it's gonna give me issues. All right, never mind, no alarm clock. Alright. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, something else that you can do on the walls here. Something that I really like to do. If I can find it. This thing, it came with seasons. It's called the sunspot. You can put... You can put one of those. on either side of of the painting that you just put up so it looks really pretty now we can go to the living room we can get a rug of some kind and i have a lot of custom content I, well, I don't have a lot i have a fair selection of custom content ones but Um, let's use this one and then press letter R on your keyboard. We can recolor it. Again, I want to keep the pretty flower pattern, but I guess want to make it well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh, it like changes the whole the whole thing, doesn't it? Kind of like that. And then I could make this. Maybe like that. Here's the hex code for that one. We are already at 20 minutes and we still have like, yeah, we still have three more bedrooms to do. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits on, on the master bedroom. Looks pretty nice. Alrighty, so this one, we can just make this a kid's bedroom. Beds, nothing too, nothing, nothing too fancy. Maybe a set of, yeah, maybe a set of twins live here. Maybe just one kid lives here. Something that I really like to do, I'll show you guys. If we use that bed. And then go to furniture. Or maybe not. Where is it? So we have to go back to bedrooms to get to the dressers. That's weird. Okay, so this bed came with generations, I'm pretty sure. And this is, I don't know if this is the matching one or not. Hmm. It looks like it is. Okay. So this is something that I like to do. I like to put the, the dresser underneath this bed. And then we can go back to the kids room. Maybe we can put a toy box underneath it, maybe. No, no toy box underneath it. Okay. Maybe put, maybe this is a little boy's room. Maybe put a couple bears there. Let's go to kids decor. Maybe there is better stuff. There's better stuff here. Um, That's that's good enough for me. Alrighty, so something else that I want to do. Maybe we can give him a desk for studying. Let's see here. That's a little big for our little guy. Um, these are really big desks. I don't think I like that. These desks are huge. Our little guy doesn't need a desk that big. Maybe we can move this over here. No, it's not gonna let us. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, well. Will it let me put it over here? Nope. All right. Well, this is going to be a really tight squeeze. I'm not going to give him a computer because that's just silly. This also came with generations, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's get a, let's give him a chair. Really? It's not going to let's give him a chair. All right. Well, I don't think a desk is going to work in here. This, these rooms are just too small. Maybe we can put his bedroom over here. That's the same layout as the other one. Yeah, I think that's just not going to happen. We can put... Let's go back to the kids' room. Let's see here. 
Maybe we can give him another dresser. I've seen a really nice one. Give him a dresser right here. And then put some toys on it, maybe. I haven't been telling you guys what these are. <laughs> um, this one came with, it came with generations as well. Okay. So now we can go back to the kids' room. Go to toys, or we can go back to decor. Just put some random... Put some random knickknacks on there. That up there. Maybe... We put that there. And maybe we can go into the miscellaneous decor. I think there's some books that we can put up there. I think some books. Books, books, books. Do, do, do. Again, I'm sorry if I'm not saying much. I'm just concentrating. That's all. Hmm. I wouldn't be in sculptures, would they? I could have swore that one of the packs came with like a little stack of books. I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about it. Let's just put um, some more... Maybe put a unicorn on here. Good for me. Maybe we can put a light of some kind here. What if there's a kid? A kid one. What's that look like? Okay, not really. None of these are gonna fit up here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, that's just going to have to be it for that. We can put some nice pictures up here for him, though. And maybe put this, this over here so he can hang his backpack up. Beautiful. Okay, and then maybe put, I don't know how old this little kid is, but This is base game. It's the giraffe family portrait. And then the My Little House is also base game. Um, I'm just trying to find things to put on walls. I don't have kids, so I don't know what kids have in their rooms. Um, that's a generation. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I've never had to... Maybe we can do something fancy with that. Maybe we can move this up a little bit. Put that down there. Okay. Oakley doakley. Now let's go... Let's put a light in here because I'm pretty sure... Well, there's a light in there. I don't think we need to put a light. He has a light. Sir... Let's see if we can get him a a toy chest. There we go. Kids need toys. Let's make it a little horizontal. This is also base game. Look at me. I'm so nice using base game things. Okay. So, this is the boys' room. I guess we can press letter R and make this a boy color. <laughs> so or you know what we could do we could get go into the themed and find a really cool boy boy theme boy pattern oh boy rowboats bunnies frogs
That's cool, but... Maybe we can just make it a boy color. Maybe that. That's the hex code for that. All right. Thunder number two done. And I think over here I want to put a simple nursery. And my dog is whining in my ear. I'm so sorry about that. I just want to put a simple nursery in here. Nothing too fancy. So... I think I, and I'm not, I don't think I'm going to recolor these because most of the time when people are expecting a baby, they don't know, they don't know the gender of it yet. And this is pretty gender neutral. So this is the kinder container. I'm just going to put it like that and maybe, or maybe we can even, there's not much room in this one either. So we're just going to have to keep it like that. And then... If we go back to the bedroom and into dressers, we can get this, the same one that we used in there. And then we can press letter R on our keyboard. And I'm gonna make this white. You guys should know how to do this by now. Alrighty. Awesome. Then we go back to the kids room under kids decor. Something I really like doing is putting, um, where is it at? Putting this thing, the space mobile, and putting it above there. Ain't that so sweet? Alrighty, so we need some more things here. If we go, what if we put a little, wonder if a rocking chair. This came a supernatural. I wonder if it'll fit. Of course it won't. Why did I think it would? Maybe we can put this over here. Or maybe we can even maybe we can change things around here. like that. Will it fit that way? If there's more room to work with. Is it because of that? No. These rooms are just so inconvenient and awkwardly lay layouted. Lay layouted? Wow. They're just so awkwardly laid out. So we're gonna go back to that, and then we're gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a different kind of chair here. I'm gonna use the same chair that we used downstairs, and I'm just gonna keep it the color it is. It's just this room, like these rooms, are just so like awkward. Kids decor. Let's just put some toys up here. It's a little robot. It came with generations. Um, maybe we can put we gotta put something here. Maybe let's go to wall decorations. I think I've seen Put these up there. Those also came with generations. It's the wall walking animals. Okay. And I 
I am just going to put this here. And then we can go back to the kids' decor. We can put some toys on the floor over here. Even though babies in this game, they don't really... The babies in this game don't really do a whole lot. So this this room is more for decoration than anything. Alrighty. So that's that. Maybe we can put a rug of some kind down. Maybe. This is pretty. It came with um, Generations 2. And I'm just, I'm just going to keep it that color. Because nurseries aren't that, you know, usually that exciting. Because the babies only, it, the babies in The Sims only, like, they only lay down and that's it until they grow up. Um, and then by the time this baby is grown up, he's going to be in here. So, maybe we can put that rug in here, too. That seems, it, go, it goes with the color. It goes with the color of the walls and stuff. So there we go. And then press the R letter R on the keyboard. And I think I want to make this room... Um, like a like a tealish color. There's the hex code for it. And press accept. I'm not gonna put any curtains up here, just because the like the you know babies aren't really don't really do a whole lot. <laughs> All right, so we're now we're down to the last the last room. We are almost that we are almost done. Oh my gosh. And that is the bathroom. The simplest the simplest thing to do. So I think what I'm going to do we can put I like using the stuff that came with pets a lot. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use that for the bath for the for the toilet. And I'm just going to keep the colors the same. Because I, I like the rustic look of everything. And I think... Me thinks... I don't do that a whole lot. <laughs> I don't think a whole lot. Let me see. You guys like that for a sink? I think I do. And then we can go to mirrors. Actually, we need to put a sink in first. So I think I want to do his, hers sinks. So maybe we can put a sink over here. And a sink over here. And then we can put a nice... A nice mirror there. Got to make sure it is the perfect size. We've used this mirror so much, but it's so good. This is nice. And I'm just going to keep it that color because it goes good with it. Okay. We can put... Maybe we can put the toilet over there. Or even right there. That way we can put a shower right here. You know what I mean? Is this 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 bathroom is also an awkward squeeze. Alright, so we got that and that. So we just need to put a shower in. Ooh. Sorry if that So maybe like that. Or we can even use the same one that came with pets. It literally just goes like that. I 
don't know. I can't remember how they get in this shower. I think it's like that. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I think I'm gonna like move it over just a smidge. I wonder if we can. Oh my gosh, we can totally fit that there, but. That looks a little awkward. So I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it the way it is. And you know what? I don't hate that. So if we go to accents, I really like putting toilet paper around the toilet, but it doesn't look like we can. So maybe we can Move that over. No? Alright. There's a lot of things that that I can't do in this house. <laughs> that I usually do because the layout is so weird. So, let's see here. Another thing I like to do. I like to put this cabinet. It came with nothing. It's a base game. I like putting it above the toilet. It just makes it look cool. It makes it look, it makes it look nice. Um, we can put, we can put a candle right here if you guys want. I don't really, I don't do a whole lot in bathrooms because it's, you don't really do a whole lot in bathrooms. We can put this on the wall, a little towel holder. And then over on this wall. We can put this is a nice thing to have, I guess. There's not really we don't really have room for us in anything else. Something that the plum dot did a while back has me wanting to try it. So if you put, if you hit control shift, shift C and put move objects on, and if you take this and put it in the middle of that, it kind of divides the, kind of divides the sinks. So that, so that sink has a, has a, window over it and then we can put a really pretty mirror over this one either that one I like that one or even that one let's go with that one actually you can use any mirror that you want but I like this one because it came it came with Island Paradise but it has the same kind of has the same kind of thing that you know I don't know what I'm trying to say press letter R we're gonna make this thing the same color as that and press OK wait for this to go press OK and there we go there's not much else that we need to put in this bathroom we can put a rug down of some kind. I am so sorry you guys. My dog just... Oh my god. <laughs> my dog just really yanked my microphone out of my hands. Alright. So I need to hurry up and get this over with. Before she loses her mind. So we're just going to put this in here. We'll put this in the middle. Press letter R. And we're going to make this... I think we're gonna we're gonna make this a fabricy kind of thing. Make it like that. I guess use that last one. And then we'll make it a little dark. There's the hex code on that one. And then for that we'll go back to fabrics. And 
um, make this a little darker. And there's the hex code for that. And I think I'm going to call it a day on the bathroom. Bathrooms aren't that special. You don't really do that much in them. Maybe we can put some wall lights up. Maybe put one right here and right here. Make it light up a little bit more. Let's see what this looks like. Alrighty. So I think that's going to be it. Um, yeah, look at that. So the build with me is done. Woo! Um, I know we had a little bit of a, we, we had some problems with the master bedroom. Um, but, you know, I think it came out really nice. And I don't usually like putting, um, I don't usually like putting curtains in my bathrooms or in my nurseries or anything because, you know, you don't spend a whole lot of time in nurseries or bathrooms. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I didn't go too fast and I'm sorry for if you guys heard my dog in the background. Um, she's just excited to, to have me home because I was home, I was gone for a little bit. Um, but I am currently in the process of doing, um, a renovation series for Appaloosa Plains. Um, I picked a really nice house and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Um, if you guys liked this video and this series, please comment and subscribe and like and do all of the... YouTube things, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.